Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recreating. Today we're going to turn this into this. More screen accurate. Stay tuned. Okay. Alright guys, so we're going to start off with this little metal piece that he has on his, uh, on his knee. Uh, for some reason it was painted blue. <laughs> I don't know why they do this, but uh, it was blue, so I decided to paint it silver to be more accurate with the film. So this is what I did. Um, he also had this silver stripe around the boot. I mean, the 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 stripe itself, like the it was carved into the boot itself, like the stripe, but it wasn't painted, so I just painted it with the marker. Um, this is like a, a paint marker, I guess you call them, or unis, if you want to call it unis or paint markers. I know them as unis, so. Um, so anyways, um, I decided to use this instead of paint because the paint that I had wasn't too silver. And also this one because it was bronze. And the paints that I had, bronze and silver, they they were like too, too shiny. They kind of looked like, like sparkles. So I just decided not to go with that. I just decided to go with the marker or with the paint marker I should say and uh, or uni whatever you guys want to call it whatever is whatever part of the country you're from so um, so yeah I just decided to do that it was a lot more easier and also this uh, you guys see the shoulder pads I decided to make it a little bit bigger because um, if you see the toy it's or the movie it's a lot bigger than the toy if you compare it to the toy it's super tiny uh, that's because it has a little um, a little, little movement that it does, like if you flip his head forward, a bazooka uh, moves forward. You see that bazooka, it moves forward. And um, it's a little gimmick that it has. So it's supposed to move forward. That's why you see that big old line in his chest. And then later on, you guys see that I completely take off that whole line. So um, unfortunately, the gimmick doesn't work for this one anymore, which I don't, I don't care for the gimmicks. Um, I just care for it to look more screen accurate than anything else. So that's why I didn't mind um, uh, covering up the whole little uh, seam down his chest right there. On his neck and his chest. The whole seam goes away later on. And also I had to do the belt strap around his, you know, around his, uh, around his shoulder. And so I had to make it look like it's actually like uh, leaning leaning on there's pressure on the actual pad up there on the shoulder so i had to indent it a little bit that way it makes it makes it look a little bit more realistic so um so it's all done 24 hours later i just painted it painted the whole thing and i also lost footage of me doing the strap i did the strap and i did the little square things whatever those square things are on the strap i did each individual little square and i had to glue them on there so Unfortunately, I lost that footage. I keep losing footage. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just I delete the wrong thing. I'm going through all the all the videos and I completely delete the stuff that I need. I don't know why I keep doing that, but I I, I just do it. That's that's just what I do. <laughs> that's just who I am, man. Don't judge me. Anyways, uh, so here's me painting the the muscle shirt. Or the wife beater, or whatever you guys want to call it. Um, uh, this is a little bit more darker. I did originally go with the lighter green, uh, but it didn't look right. I, I thought it would look really cool, but it didn't look right with the pants, and so I just went with the darker green. Um, right here was the lighter green. You guys see the shirt? It's lighter green, so it, it matched too much with the pants. So I just decided to cut, make make the shirt darker, the darker green. Anyway, so um, uh, part of the movie, he has band-aids around his arm. So you guys can see I put the band-aid around his arm. And um, you guys see the, the shoulder thing. Um, you guys can see the little squares. I already had made them. And this is me making a little um, little sticks and the band-aid around his, his, I guess his knee and his thigh. That's where pretty much was in the movie so that's why I decided to do and I use tape because this is the easiest way to to do it and it looks uh, to me it looks a lot better than if I was to do it with like with the epoxy uh, epoxy or like any other clay I think it, or to like sculpt it onto it I think it looks better this way because it looks more realistic 
because basically it is realistic because <laughs> that's um that's actual emergency tape or tape that they use at the at a doctor's office so uh that's that, that's the tape that i used and these are just popsicle sticks as you guys saw in the beginning they're just basically popsicle sticks and i just wrapped it around the whole leg over and over again and i made it try to seem like uh like it was actually a little tiny tape so I had to cut a little piece of the tape to make a thin strip and this type of tape as long as you keep pulling it it'll it'll be the same size the whole way through so uh, that's what I did so fortunately it worked out for me and um, I, I I thought the results were pretty good I, I, I love the way it looks uh, with these things I, I wanted to add a little bit more because like I said before this guy was the easiest guy to paint I really didn't have to do much to it, so I was like, I might as well put some extras in it. So that's why I did this this little part to it. So I thought it would look really cool with this. And boy, was I right! <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, round and round and round and round. <laughs> I don't know why I left all this footage in here, but probably because I lost the other footage and I had to, I had to fill it in <laughs> with some more footage. Anyway, uh, so there you go. It looks pretty, pretty good, and you could still move his his legs back and forth. So that that worked out as well. Looks pretty nice. Just, you guys can see the little belt still there. Um, I left the bazooka, of course, because he's brick bazooka. He needs his bazooka. Um, so I just decided to paint it silver and then add some little wash to it so to make it make it look more metal. I guess you could say so um, I will put like a little black wash to it uh, it's just basically um, at first I tried um, so it's just regular black paint and I just scrubbed it off at first I tried uh, watercolors but the watercolors didn't work out that out that great uh, so this is just acrylic paint that I'm using here and I just basically rub it off with my with my finger and that'll be it and we are completely done so here's the review all right guys so here he is completely done and repainted right from head to toes so here he is completely done let me guys give let me give you guys a side view so look side away the back whoa I thought he was gonna fall over the other side and the front I think he came out pretty cool this was the easiest one to do out of all the other characters that I've done so far. So that's why I didn't take so long doing this guy. That's why I saved him towards the end. Even though he's not the last one I'm going to do, there's still one more guy to make. And hopefully I get that guy on eBay and I start making them and transforming them. By the way guys, for you true fans out there, all of you guys who watch my videos over and over again. Those of you who watch my videos every time I upload, I'm talking to you guys. Let me know in the comments down below guys if you guys like the tutorials better or you guys just like the reviews like once it's completely finished do you guys just want me to do reviews once it's completely done or do you guys like these tutorials where i show you how i make it for those true fans out there please let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think should i still make videos of how to make them or should i just do the reviews simple reviews let me know in the comments down below if you guys would like to see that anyways thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe because you guys do. Guess what? You guys will see me on the next one. Peace.